Hey guys, I'm Alejandra Ramos. And I'm Caroline Ray. And today we're making peanut butter chicken mole. I recently got back from a trip to Mexico where I had the most amazing mole. So when I get back, I like to extend my vacations by recreating the dishes I had while I was there. So this is my little twist using the heat is on peanut butter. Smart. It's so good. It's so That's spicy. Awesome. Adds great flavor. So let's get started. Okay. I'm just gonna do a little bit of olive oil right in my pan here. All right. Um, and can you hand me those onions, please? Yes. And some onions and some garlic, cause you know, right. we want to add a lot of flavor to this. <laughs> I've got a lot of garlic in here. <laughs> this is good. So this just kind of goes into the oil and you really just want to let it go for about a minute or two just until it gets fragrant. Okay. So once once people are like, hey, something smells delicious, that's when you're ready to move to the next step. Oh, it smells awesome. You know, there's nothing <laughs> better than onions and garlic. Onions and garlic are just the most perfect scent. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. I, I a, a perfume would be nice, I think. Perfume. What do you think? I don't, well, I mean, I don't know about that. <laughs> I think I'm sure my husband would love that. <laughs> Um, can I actually get a tiny little pinch of that salt there? Yes, can I do it? Yeah, I'll totally go for it. All right. Yeah. So tell, me, tell me when. That's good, All that's right. good. All righty. And now we can actually go ahead and get those other ingredients. So these are crushed plum tomatoes. These are just right from the can. Nothing super, super fancy. Okay. Yeah, I like to keep it easy. All right, so we can start getting these spices in. Okay. So I've got a little bit of cumin right here. All right. That is. I see you've got some maybe cocoa? Yes, so I've got some cocoa powder. Okay. That's so super key for mole. It's a it's a really traditional ingredient for mole. It adds a little bit of a sweetness and spice and just that deep chocolatey richness. But I don't recognize this one. What's this, this one? This is espresso powder. What do you do with that? So that honestly that just gives it a little kick. Same kind of kick you get in the morning from espresso. It adds uh, it adds that kind of a kick to the dish. Awesome. And this may, I smell some cinnamon here. This what? is cinnamon. All right. Also. So it's really nice because it's kind of like a savory dish, but it's got a lot of sweet elements to it. So it's just really oh, it looks rich, killer. really lovely. You have some honey here, is that um, honey? Yeah, some honey. This is great. So, you know, tomatoes are pretty acidic, so the, the honey kind of cuts that acidity, helps balance it all out. It's really nice in here. But okay, you promised me some peanut butter, lady. I, I did, I did. So that's that's, that's that. like the best part. So we're, the heat is on, is like super spicy and amazing. So, so this adds tons of flavor and heat. So we're not even using any other chilies. Like all the heat is coming right from here. That's such a good idea. Yeah, it works really, really well. This is good. Ooh. And yeah, I'm doing, I'm generous with it. I that's like a, it. That's a good dollop. <laughs> a good dollop. Yeah, and so you just work that in, let the heat from the uh, the sauce kind of melt that peanut butter. Oh, it's getting like nice and thick. And yes, yes. It smells incredible. So I've actually got the chicken over here. I'm using uh, chicken thighs and chicken um, drums. So nice. chicken legs. And what's nice about this is this is the dark meat of the chicken. It can cook a little bit longer. It becomes really tender. Awesome. And I already, I gave this a little bit of a sear. So okay. it's nice. It gives it a little bit of color, a little bit of extra flavor. Nice. But if you're in a hurry, you can totally skip that. Okay, okay. I won't tell. Awesome. So do you want to actually, you want to actually right. go ahead and put those Thanks. in here? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> so you can put them in. So just like nestle them in? Yeah, just nestle or? them right into the sauce. Okay. And it can be um, just in a single layer, so you don't want them to overlap. Okay. And now we want to add our chicken broth. All right. All right. Put that in here. Yeah, so we just kind of want to cover All the right. broth. Just like that. So it depends on the kind of size of the pan of how much broth you're actually going to end up using. Okay. So this is about pretty good. And so we're just gonna get a nice braise going, right? Exactly, yeah. And now we're just gonna let this braise just kind of give it a nice simmer for about 30 minutes. Okay. You can cover it if you want, but it's you know it's fine like this. Okay. It's easy. So we can just like it. We yes. can, yeah, we can, yeah, we can. Dance. All right. <laughs> so this has been simmering for 30 minutes, and it is amazing. It smells so good. Oh, it smells amazing. You can really smell that peanut butter. It's so great. So our, I'm ready to plate if you're ready to eat. You get two. <laughs> well, thank you. Get some of that delicious peanut butter mole sauce on there. It's so good. Okay, All right. So we want to garnish this up with uh, some chopped roasted salted peanuts. It's okay. just the perfect little finishing touch here. Brings out the peanut flavor. Yeah, kind of. Tightens that perfect peanut butter. Peanut That's butter creative. Butter. I, I really like you it. You like it? Yeah, yeah, I do. I like it. It's my little twist. So there you have it peanut butter chicken mole. Thanks for watching. We hope you try this recipe and give us a like. Every week we cook up a new peanut buttery dish. So subscribe to the Peanut Butter and Company channel to make sure you watch them all. And we love hearing from you guys. So be sure to leave us questions or comments about how you use peanut butter in your favorite recipes in the section below. See you next time. Good, 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 good. <laughs> We're just getting closer to each other with each line. <laughs>
you will become one eventually. 